Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama want your guns. So protect your guns with the safeandvaultstore.com. Click the link below right now. Memorial Day sale. No tax, plus 10% off, plus free shipping on select handgun and rifle safes with coupon code MEMORIAL. Again, that's 10% off with coupon code MEMORIAL. Give them a call right now at 1-800-207-2259. That's 1-800-207-2259. That's a safeandvaultstore.com. Offer expires June 6, 2016. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green and you're tuning into AMTV. Alternative Media Television is Monday, June 6, 2016. Apologize the hoarse, hoarse voice. I think I'm suffering from a cold or something. And the pollution, we get a lot of it from California. The air quality is it's really bad. You know, I had a uh, rejuvenating weekend, kind of a spiritual week, and I actually attended a seminar with a fellow YouTuber that I'd never heard of before. She talks a lot about energy, law of attraction. Her name is Teal Swan. Hello there, I'm Teal Swan. I'm known around the world as the spiritual catalyst. And really loved it, really enjoyed it. It was recommended to me by a friend and met some great people while I was there and really just kind of opened up my spirit and thinking about new possibilities, even with my own platform and my own life, you know, kind of the health, wealth, happiness, love, as we kind of break it up into all these buckets. And you know, what do we really want? out of our existence, our life. And one thing that she touched on, which really resonated with me, and again, I, I believe the universe is about energy. I believe in the law of attraction, of manifestation, because I've seen it manifest, many things manifest in my life personally and in the business world, and specifically, in particular, with AMTV. One of the things she touched upon, which was fascinating, is one of the similar topics I've touched upon in thousands of videos, countless videos here on YouTube, and of course broadcasted on AMTVmedia.com. And that is the eradication of the middle class, how there's a structural shift in employment with the advent of robotics, new technology, the internet, artificial intelligence, etc that there's a dramatic wealth redistribution taking place right now, and it's been planned. It's just like I talk about the financial collapse, an engineered financial event. Just like Matt Damon said, and this guy supports Hillary Clinton, which I kind of find phenomenal in its own right, that basically it was the greatest heist that we've ever seen, and everybody knows it, and there's no repercussions. Nobody's paying for it. We're, we're even seeing the advent of, not just here in America, Plan socialism, that was the Obama Manchurian candidate agenda. Even over the weekend, I was reading in Switzerland, a very wealthy country with unemployment below 4%, considering a mandatory income. They actually voted on this, a mandatory, mandatory income for all citizens. They voted it down 80% nay to yay. But just this sheer fact that they're considering this for a reason. Because of this dramatic, engineered, pre-planned New World Order agenda of massive wealth distribution where there's truly five tech giants which are total and utter monopolies right now because they don't need human beings as inputs, you know, kind of like the matrix, the battery cell. Because they don't need you, they're going to socialize things. They're either going to get rid of you, kill you is one option, just completely eradicate you from the face of the planet or they're gonna socialize things or do both, which is what is happening now, and give things out like a mandatory income to the slaves, to the peasants. While these internet pioneers, whether or not it's you know, fascinating minds like Peter Thiel of the PayPal Mafia, or it's Elon Musk of SpaceX and Solar City and Tesla, or it's Jeff Bezos of Amazon, or it's Sergey Brin or Larry Page of Google, or it's Uber or Lyft or any of these companies, there's only a handful of them. They control all the wealth, all the power, and all the money, even all the cash in this run on cash situation that I've talked about in a few of the past videos regarding economics. These top five companies, the top five companies, own a third, one of three of all the cash assets, and a third of all the cash assets are held overseas of that third, which they don't have to pay taxes on. They don't have to redistribute back here to experience what us little people pay in you know, federal and state income taxes, for example. So there's this massive shift. And she hit the nail on the head. It's resonated with me because it's something I talk about that if you're counting on that typical middle class lifestyle that, oh, I'm going to go to college, get a degree, and you know, I'm going to get the nine to five, that's done. 
it's finished. If you have an energy attachment to that idea of your life, let me just be frank with you, you're screwed. You might die as a result. That's not a, that's not, I'm not being dramatic. It's the absolute truth. What we have in our society now is an extreme lower rung, an extreme lower class, where they've got the fiction being propelled that things are okay through easy credit, 0% interest rates, lending, the scam that makes up the Federal Reserve, printing money out of thin air. So people still think if they can you know, get a loan for a nice car, a loan for a nice house, or a loan for a nice handbag through credit, that they're you know, part of a middle-class society, when really they're here. Again, all the wealth distribution is at the very, very tippy top of this pyramid. And the pyramid now is in reverse with all these social programs, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, all of these programs, pen pensioners, like what we've seen with Detroit, the book, I encourage you to download. We've only got a couple copies left because we've virtually they've been flying off the shelves ever since we, I started talking about it several videos ago. Click that link below. There might be a few left. So we have this dramatic, epic shift in our humanity, and with it comes massive disruption. Uh, chaos in a lot of regard. And what that means, well, let's look at it from a positive perspective, is that you need to take the bull by the horns. You need to understand that nobody's going to take care of you, that the government can't be trusted, will not take care of you, that these social programs cannot be dependent on, that your pension may in fact be eradicated, like we've seen here in parts of the states in the good old USA and abroad in places like Europe. Low interest rates, negative interest rates, they're here to stay. This is the Ponzi scheme. As the tech class, these tech elites that are merging with the machines, these transhumanists like Ray Kurzweil that have three blood transfusions a week and truly believe that they will live forever, merge themselves and become, in their own minds, this is what they're actually propelling forward, an entirely new species. I'm not kidding you. This is what they believe. You know, you got Cro-Magnum man and kind of the chimp as we became human as today. Now they're merging with big tech. Some of them, I honestly, honest to God, believe are already merging with that big tech. And we see that with our society. We see that with automation, with robots, with kiosks in the service industry, with companies like Lyft and all these apps that completely cut out the middleman and cut out traditional jobs. Again, for every job that's created by technology, a thousand, if not arguably more, are destroyed. So the question is, how do you position yourself in this new world? Well, I think it's by thinking outside of the box. It's by going against the grain. While the herd is going this way, you want to go this way. Let me give you an example. Peter Thiel gave a good one. He said that before he had started PayPal and gotten involved with Elon Musk, he went to law school, like a lot of his friends, because that was supposedly the gateway to middle class life and the nine to five and a little decent income so you could buy a house, get married, have a car, etc. When in actuality, that was the riskiest thing that he could have done. In fact, the only thing it guaranteed is debt, and I would argue that's the same thing it guarantees debt. It doesn't guarantee a job. The least risky thing for Peter Thiel to do at the time was to start a company called PayPal, was to go to Silicon Valley, drop out of college like people like Elon Musk did, or for the Zuckerbergs to start Facebook, even though I know they have connections with central intelligence, allegedly, etc. That was actually the least risky. In fact, when I was starting AMTV, that was the least risky thing that I could do. But everyone around me saw it as the riskiest thing. So what are you doing? Why are you leaving finance? Why are you leaving a high you know, paying job? Why are you, you know, leaving such a, you know, large company with, you know, comfort and security and all this kinds of stuff after being personally educated at the finest private and public schools? Because I could see this shift. I could see the eradication and finance, you know, what makes up the monolithic institutions of New York City today, which are dying. The media, which is dying. It's not even an argument anymore. CNN is dying. MSNBC is dying. Fox is dying. The media wave has been the far biggest trend uh, of the last five to 10 years. In fact, it was so big that most people couldn't even see it. I remember when I started AMTV, people literally told me I couldn't do it. They said that they, you, I couldn't do it. Not that I couldn't put myself on camera, but that you can't say things like that. You can't put yourself on camera. You can't criticize the establishment. You can't you know, point a finger at Ben Bernanke or Alan Greenspan or Janet Yellen or you know, criticize the modern system as it was. And uh, this isn't news, they would say. It's, you know, it's like entertainment news. Well, what does it become? Our society has become exactly what we originally started here at AMTV. The media business is now all entertainment based. Even Trump's campaign is one big PR content generation system. In fact, I should probably consult them 
and consult others on content and uh, content generation and how this is the new world. It's not the traditional model, the 30, 60 second commercial that drove television or drove network sales from years past. It's totally different. People like Trump are hijacking the political system. People like us, like you, are hijacking the media system. At the same time, there's this dramatic structural shift and there's all these great changes coming. I think that these disruptions will be severe. I think it's a byproduct, it will be a byproduct of war. I think the great war, the next great war has already begun. The economic war has begun, the political war has begun. But most importantly, how it should affect all of us and how we should look at it is how does it affect our individual lives, our livelihood, our family, our friends. And again, the message should be you need to determine the outcome. You need your skill set as the most valuable asset that you have. It's not money in the bank. It's having a real skill. You know, let me give you an example. My skill is creating content. My skill is putting myself out to the world and sharing ideas and challenging people. That's my skill. It's irreplaceable. I have a unique personality and it's something you can't replace with a robot. Maybe you could, but it's probably not likely. So the question that I would ask yourself is what skill do you possess that's totally and utterly unique that will always be desired in this new paradigm, in this new world, at a time of deteriorating structural unemployment and the socialization of our societies and this fragmentation and redistribution of wealth? If you don't have that skill, start building the skill right away. If you have the skill, never be satisfied. I'm never satisfied. Continue to build the skill. You've noticed that I've probably gotten tremendously better in presenting a video or an idea than I did you know, 2,000 videos ago when I was sitting in a bedroom and I had a dog walking by me. I mean, it's gotten so much better through practice. And so you need to put these tools and these ideas into your practice today. You need to attract the uh, attract positive things into your life, attract the right people and energy and success, and you need to move forward right away. And so think in your life today how you're moving against the grain. And if you're not, think about how you can begin to move against the grain and increase your own skill set into something that is practically needed, that can't be replaced, and that would be viewed as an asset even in a robotic algorithmic, social media, tech giant, monopolistic, new world order society of global integration. And again, disruption after disruption, chaos and fragmentation after chaos and wealth transfer, all of this a part of this engineered plot to destroy the constitutional republic, the system, sovereign nations, borders, all of this a part of the long-term trajectory and strategy of the new world elites, new world order elites to dominate, utterly control and merge themselves with big tech and technology and embark in an entire new generation and species arguably of man. This is what's here folks, it's not what's coming. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Put your comment question in the box below. Get this video out everywhere. Make it viral, hard hitting it in your face. I'm Christopher Green. You've been tuning into AMTV. Peace.